That's going to hurt. Hey, uh, welcome back to the Music Snob. Um, this channel is basically, like, I'd like to pretend that I'm a, a snob about music because I, I have a lot of different preferences, I guess, a lot of different uh, likes in the music world. Uh, I like country. I like metal. Um, and uh, last week I did a, a thing where 10 reasons why you should have a 12 string. Um, what I thought I would do today is uh, 10 reasons you should uh, try some drop D tuning. Um, and what I'd like to do is th maybe convey this to either beginners or people who have, you know, maybe been playing for 20, 30 years and aren't very good. So um, it's kind of like a beginner course for drop D tuning. Um, the reason I have this is because I just changed the strings if you watched that video. <laughs> Probably not. But I want to do uh, a couple songs on, uh, on acoustic to show you why you should be doing some drop D. And I'm going to do some stuff on uh, this thing right here. See that thing? That has a D tuna on it, which is Eddie Van Halen's patented drop D device. This one also has it, but I'm going to use this thing because I use it a lot in my videos and I love this guitar. So we're going to do some drop D songs today on the Music Snob. Now starting with this thing, I love this guitar. This is my Jim Dandy Gretsch. Uh, I was never a big fan of, well, it's, it's like a three quarter guitar, I guess. Um, it's a little smaller. You know, around me it looks like an amulet if I had a strap on it. Um, we're going to do today, I got my little snark tuner on here. Right now I'm in standard E. So you got your E, A, B, G, B, E. All you need for drop D is to take your E string and tune it down to D. You hear that? Do you hear that? Feel that burn, you know what I mean? So again, what is drop D? If you've ever heard of drop D, I didn't know drop D till like 10 years ago and I've been playing for 35 years. Um, drop D is just taking your low E string and turning into a D so that when you play Ds, it's got that little extra. You can also do power chords with it like instead of, you know, this is how you would bar a a power chord, but now because all three strings here, instead of having your open E, it's an out D, so that's an F sharp. There's a G, or sorry, there's a G power chord. So again, there's two ways, two ways. If you're playing a, a regular guitar, all you need to do is tune it down. And again, just get yourself a tuner, perhaps a snark, drop your E, drop it to D. Now you're in D. I'll show you the other way later when I pull this son of a bitch out. Okay, so here's why I started playing drop D. Simple as this. I'm not going to use my pick. I'm just going to screw around. Just, it just sounds deeper and more interesting. Let's just say that. Here's one, uh, a great example of a drop D song. As you could see, you're just playing normal, except that instead of this being an E, it is a D. So you can actually leave that open for a D chord. Also, your power chord, it right normally, this would be how you would do a G power chord. This would be your, your bass note would be your G, and then these two here would be your fifth and your other G. But with the drop D, 
You just have to do it here. As long as you're dead in the strings. That's your difference. It just makes everything just a, it's, let's say it's a beginner shot at uh, playing things more, um, let's say a little baritone. Uh, and and that, 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 let's call it the brown note feeling of some of the, the alternative metal that's out there today. Everybody who was live in the 80s or 90s and uh, listened to either country or rock knows who Steve Earle is, was. Great musician. This is mostly a mandolin song, but it's a drop D if you're strumming along on the acoustic. So. Now you see, I'm just strumming the D and just adding that little piece there. And then when you go to your G, is normally you would be doing a G like that, but now you just, the G note is moved up because of the drop D. So there's your open G right there. Pretty easy. It's two chords. How about this one? I have to move the guitar up here to play the high stuff because I ain't that good. I'm just screwing around. This would, of course, be Harvest Moon, which is signified with these two pieces here. Now, if you're looking at the guitar, I have an open string here for my E. I have my middle finger on the 10th fret on the B string. I have my ring finger on the 11th fret on the G string. And I'm leaving this blank. For the ringing sensation, so you got your E, and then when you do, you add your pinky onto the 12th fret on the B string to get the other part. So you're like, then where the opening E was, you're on the ninth fret with your index to get that. This is all you want to learn. That's all you need to hear. I'll just do this right. have that low D in there it just adds to it all right again if you uh, maybe if you're a fan of the country here's another uh, a simple country song again drop D so normally you'd be doing it's just basically a blues riff but because of the drop D this is how it goes Sorry, it's not Pearl Jam. If you know the song, you know how to sing it. It's basically an E sustain and then an A minor or an A A seventh. So it's like I 
hardly even know that song. But that was pretty cool. So that's uh, some of the Drop D acoustic songs that I think are really cool. If you are a fan of those, um, it's pretty easy to find the tabs for them. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this away, and I'm going to pick up this puppy right here, and I'm going to show you some more Drop D stuff in a really cool way. As promised, as I said earlier when I was playing that acoustic, I have my pink EVH. Oh, I love this guitar. It has everything you'd want, all the bells and whistles, as the kids would say. Two double humbuckers, set up as one. Whammy bar. And what I love. A kill switch. This thing's awesome. But the best part about this, you can see on the standard E right now, comes with this, which you can get. It's called a D tuna. Uh, I believe that Eddie Van Halen patented it, and uh, I bought one myself from Fu Tone. Looked them up. Uh, this one comes with it in. All you have to do, pull that out, and you got yourself a drop D. take a little extra long look at this right now now as promised take a look at this my EVH uh, what do you want it goes 103296 made in Mexico I don't care it's got a uh, Floyd Rose two springs look at this thing just everything about it, EVH it just screams awesomeness I'm gonna flip this thing over I love the hot pink. That's just how I roll. Look at this thing. EVH. Double humbuckers. Floyd Rose. Whammy bar. Kill switch. There's your uh, your pickup toggle there. It's just a beautiful, beautiful guitar. And a little closer look at uh, the D-Tuna. Which, again, I put one of these on another guitar, but I suck. Uh, it wasn't a licensed Floyd Rose, just a fake Floyd Rose, so it didn't fit properly. So we actually went and bought this particular, just because it had this set up already. Now you can put it on yourself. Um, I said Fu Tone was the name of the company I bought one from. It just simply screws into your uh, your string holder. <laughs> your I don't even know what you call that. So dumb I am. But it just screws into one of those. You take one out, take put this one on, and it, that's as simple as it. It's uh, E, D, E, D. It's just, it just changes the tension on the string so it's tuned to D or it's tuned to E. It's just as simple as that. And great if you're a real musician, unlike myself, great for playing either drop D or regular E on stage. Just a great, great guitar. I wish I had one of these when I was still actually working. Now that we've taken a little look at this, let's play a couple drop Ds, shall we? Uh, Van Halen, uh, don't tell me what love can do. I love about it. So, first of all, it's, it's simple. It's just three chords. It's an F sharp, which normally this would be your F sharp part here, but because here I have my drop D, so this makes me an F sharp. But he just starts off with the palm muting on the fourth fret. Palm mute, and then open D. And that's, of course, the E now. And then when you get to the chord, it's E, E. That's how a beginner does it. And that's me, beginner. All right, second one I want to do. It's actually a good Canadian guy called Colin James. Now, you might not have heard of him in uh, other countries. Um, great 
blues musician, but also a great rocker. And uh, this is off his second album, um, just came back. It starts a little something like this. Which is nothing, it's just a D, D, E, F sharp. It's actually an F, sorry. And then of course your G chord would do that, because normally you'd have a G chord like this, it's like that. And you play a D, you know he does some other stuff later on. But essentially, that's a great reason to have yourself a drop D. There's a great song. You can do it on acoustic, you can do it on uh, electric. Either way, it sounds pretty freaking cool. Now, as you can see, you just got your open. Just make an emphasis of the the D here with the harmonies that come with it when you're just playing the open D. And then when you get to the power chords, he's just doing the power chords with open. Great song. In case you didn't know it, that of course shine. By collective soul okay this one's a little older so some of you kids might not know this this is uh from queen It'd be fat bottom girls <laughs> Now, of course, that's not played as good as it could be played. Okay, this one's a little uh, different. Uh, maybe if you remember Steve Earle. What I want to focus on is the greatness of Guitar Town, which I used to play a lot when I was a country singer. But uh, it's just a three chord song, more or less. It's the uh, great guitar solo, which is just simple, simple stuff with your open D. So it's just simple as like. What a great freaking solo. <laughs> it's just so cool. It's so easy. There's so many great things you can do with a drop T if you just want to make it easy. If you're on stage, you're playing your... When I, when I used to play, we used to have to do our drop D songs like three or four or five in a row just because the guy had to tune down. But with this thing, play yourself something neat. And then simple as this. Next song. Oh man, I'm screwing around way too much. Hey, if you made it this far, thank you. <laughs> you made it this far. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to, uh, you know, like or uh, subscribe and uh, share.
Or you can even uh, make a snide comment about my terrible guitar playing. I don't care. Um, but thanks for watching. And if you have time, watch another one of my stupid videos. I have plenty of things. I, I consider myself a music snob. So um, I, I have lots of stuff doing with music. I have little crappy lessons, uh, little how-to things. I have uh, basically profiles of other uh, great singers, uh, songwriters that uh, I think are awesome and people should know about. So please check some of that crap out. Uh, and again, you know, thanks for watching.